Toidles. I like Toidles. Let's go into the sandbox creator thingy. San Diego. Jurassic Park parks, that I guess. Jurassic Park buildings, thank you. Gameplay contract off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Park, night cycle. So, what made you think of this idea? I don't know, I just had an itch to scratch. And this is what I decided to go for. Uh, day. If you put only JP buildings, you won't have sort. Yeah, well, I that's what we did for the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary build. All right, and let's go. The only downside is I can't flatten the land without getting rid of the Jurassic Park San Diego arena thing. So, unfortunately, I kind of had to deal with that chaos. Okay. First item on... See, so yeah, look, I, I can get stores. Yeah. First item on the agenda. No, you had all. I remember. Also, in the last two hell of a boss episodes, I enjoyed them. Wasn't expecting um, the first season finale to end the way it did. That's for sure. Also, I have mixed feelings. About, um, about Queen B in more ways than one. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, like, the fact that they got, um, like, a professional singer to do it was pretty good. Don't care for unhappy campers. Yeah, I didn't really care for that one much either, um... Didn't expect uh, Blitz's cousin to be such a bitch. There we go. Now we got some fancy path down. Now, I'm a little bit of an expert with this map, so I'm going to delete just a little bit of that. Maybe come forward just a touch. There we go. I thought that was his sister. I'm pretty sure it was barbed wire. Pretty sure that is his sister. Oh yeah, I haven't done an intro yet. Hello, my co highs Hope you're all doing well. I'm your host, Tyrannosepai. And welcome back to another session of Jurassic World Evolution 2. Um, and today we're going to be building a fully operational Jurassic Park San Diego. A sort of what if part, you said, cousin. 
Did I say cousin? I'm sorry. I meant to say sister if that if that if that's the case. I I got barely any sleep, so I I'm running on purely on adrenaline. Are you only gonna do Indians list like last time? Uh, no, I think I'm only going to add the dinosaurs that are seen in the Lost World Jurassic Park. So, like, um, the Buck and Doe T-Rex, the Tiger Velociraptors, um, you know, stuff like that. This is going to be kind of a limited park, unlike last time. Analog horror. I don't like horror. Oh, yeah, you caught up on that. Yeah, I hate horror. And I'm pretty sure Five Nights at Freddy's I could count as analog horror because of, like, the video cameras and shit like that. Yeah, um, so right now we're just building, like, the workers facility. You know, we gotta do the boring stuff before we can build the actual park. Bro, FNAF is good. It is, but you know what? It's also cheap jump scares. The fan base is the problem. I don't care if which is the problem. I just don't like cheap jump scares like that. Like Frit, Five Nights at Freddy's has caused me several sleepless nights. And I don't even play the damn game. I just watch other people do it because I don't because I'd rather laugh at someone else's humiliation. But I, instead of I don't end up laughing, I end up getting scared with them. Walton Files OS Walton Files is the scariest FNAF thing ever. I don't want to know what that is. Yeah, the only thing that that came out of Five Nights at Freddy's I remember outside of the jump scares was Markiplier's famous Is that the bite of 87? My opinion on the Skull Island series kind of got worse. I don't know. I haven't rewatched it since um, the watch party, so I haven't really given it much thought. But I still am not a big fan of um, the teenage girl. Oh my god, I, I've actually kind of forgotten all the character names. I remember what happens in it. I just forget the humans because 
at the end of the day, why do you watch these movies? It's not for humans, it's for the monster action. And I'd say it satisfied my, um, what I was looking for. The one MonsterVerse thing I did watch recently uh, was I just rewatched Godzilla vs. Kong. Because that movie is dope as hell! Yeah, same. OmniViewer is a good series. Has a good series on it. He's a great YouTuber. Primal season three. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know that's happening. And I'm a little bit ticked off about it. Because you'd think with the way season two ended, it would be like the perfect way to end the series. I mean, yeah, I'm a little bit fucked up that, um, that Spear is dead. Uh, spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it, but, not, but now it's had it spoiled. But it was a good way to end to send off the main characters. And I know that like the idea is to like make it like a, an anthology series, but honestly, Spear and Fang was what made that series so good. And I honestly can't imagine the series continuing without either one of them. Me who hasn't watched. Well, yeah, now I just spoiled it. Honestly, I think Primal has a lot of doors left open with his daughters. With his daughter and the world of it. I still think. Yeah, I suppose so. Also, Fang will still be in it. Yeah, I, I get that. Thanks for the spoilers, man. I mean, the series has been out, I mean, season, that episode has been out for over a year now. So, I think a majority of the general public knows about it. But, I apologize for assuming. bummed because I can't find the show. Really? I can find it pretty easily. Um, although y you are a French Canadian, you gotta bear that in mind. Um, you can find it like on Amazon Prime, like Prime Video. And um, it's also on HBO Max. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Did you guys also see that, um... Frickin' 65 is now on, um... Is now on Netflix. Of all the things for Netflix to put on, it had to be that. HBO Max doesn't exist here. Oh man, that's tragic. Yes, and I'm happy. Oh yeah, I forgot you're actually one of the few people in this chat that actually like it. I don't want to hear you guys complain about. Come on, there's so many better movies that could be on Netflix than that. Oh yeah, did you also guys hear of how uh, kids bought butchered peaches from uh, the Super Mario Brother movies? Everyone's in a fuss about that. Go to another platform here, so, but it's not much. I'm not saying that, but I just don't want to hear you guys whine like babies about it again. <laughs> Well, I'm a content creator. You're probably going to hear me drone about the same thing over and over and over again to no end. So, buckle down for that nonsense. Yeah, I was listening... Like, I was on TikTok the other night, and apparent, and I heard that, like, um, people were going nuts because Kids Bops uh, made their own version of Peaches, and I had to listen. And I can understand why people are mad about it, like, genuinely upset over it. It sucks. They butchered Jack Black's, like, work. All right, all right, all right. We complain about films we don't like. What are movies you guys consider underrated? I don't really have any movies particularly that are underrated in my opinion. I mean, I defend... Um, Godzilla 1998, but that's because that was the movie that got me into the franchise. So, I can't help but look at it with nostalgia. Godzilla 98 and you don't like subscribe. I mean, I guess if there's one film that I do think doesn't get talked about um, at all these days, especially is uh, Dragon Slayer. Now that was an interesting watch. Um, I mean, for those of you who have haven't seen it, I'm not gonna spoil it. Uh, so don't worry, Hackersaurus. I got you. I got you, my boy. Um, it takes place like in a medi medieval times. Isn't that a game? No, like it's an actual like film. 
that was made in the 1980s. 98 as its own thing, but not as a Godzilla movie. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, um, so it takes place, like, in a medieval Europe. And it takes place, you know, when magic and dragons were still, you know, around, at, you know, in universe. And this sorcerer's apprentice, I guess you could say, um, after his master is killed, that's not a spoiler, that's just part of the synopsis, has to go uh, help a kingdom by slaying a hunt by slaying a very old and very um, antagonistic dragon that has been uh, attacked that every um, two years during the summer and winter solstice will take the life of of a maiden that is pulled from a lottery. And given that it was made in the um, the 80s, CGI really wasn't a thing, so the dragon herself is was brought back to life using uh, uh, puppets like animatronics and also hand puppets really convincing ones too they look really good and um, Phil Tippett's um, what's the term? what's the word I use signature uh, go animation style you know that they were going to use for Jurassic Park at some point before they switched over to CGI yes Clay uh, Clayton did make a video about it It was actually he that um, pointed me into the direction of the, plot of the movie. Uh, I was like, sounds interesting. I might check it out. Plus, I just, outside of dinosaurs and Godzilla, I absolutely love dragons. Uh, I grew up watching movies like um, The Hobbit, like the animated one, not the, not the one that Peter Jackson did. Um, uh, the Flight of Dragons. I, I loved it all. I love dragons. They are fascinating creatures. Sound like you talk about the art, KK. No. Anything, but I will say the only thing I could say about um, the game Dragon Slayer is that it's hell incarnate. If the devil made the game, that's what it would be. Because it's just so impossible to beat. Ring of Fire is underrated. Ah. A curse image has arrived at the Discord. Okay, one moment, dude.
you know, it kind of does help that, um... That there's already a path system around this park. Because that means I don't need to have like some sort of template uh, that I need to build. So everything I build from here on is basically just an add-on of that. Talking about the movie with Christian Bit. I've never personally heard of it. Let's have a look at this new image. Sweet. Now, these are some badass looking dragons. If you haven't checked out, like, at our, our art corner or our Discord server, go ahead and do so, because they look amazing. Okay! Oh! Oh, that doesn't look right. Okay. That might not genuinely be an actual cursed image. Oh, no! Oh, no! I hate it. Why would you send that? Why would you send that? Oh, ew. Ew, no. Ooh, I feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, I hate. I hate. I hate what you just sent. Punishment for being mean. I don't care. That's not okay. That's cruel and unusual punishment. I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight because of that. And I'm so nice, I'm not going to expose it to anyone else. Because I want, I want people to sleep tonight. I have a dark sense of humor. Yeah, you do, mate. That was not cool. <laughs> Jesus, I'm I'm gonna be afraid now to look outside and 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 I'm imagining and I'm gonna imagine that that little fucker's gonna be out there.
non curse stuff on Discord. Please don't let it be cursed. After seeing that, oh, I can't, I can't even look at it. Okay, Rain of Fire. Oh, so that's the movie. Okay. That, that looks better. Yeah, that is, that is just one fucking ugly, uh, sauropod. I thought my I thought the Carnosaur Deinonychus was my sleep paralysis demon. Apparently, this one might take the cake. See, I told you I'm trustworthy. Yeah, just don't. Just don't break that trust. Don't hurt me. I still have the damn peaches thing in my head. And what bothers me most of all is that they those stupid kids lack the charm that Jack Black actually um had. Like he put his all in he 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 kind of destroyed his own vocal cords in a way just to sing that song. And there's just heart behind it. You hear the kids bot version of it. There's no heart. There's no heart. It's just children that sound like they're dead inside. I don't know who the um the big wig is for kids bop. But who it Whoever thought it was a good idea to turn a perfectly good song into that, in which became what is the Pizza Song cover by Kizbop, was clearly out of their goddamn mind and should be mounted on a, a wall. There's a reason why those memes exist. Because they did our boy dirty. Damn, I still haven't even haven't seen the movie. And I care this much about that song. They're, they're just some things that multi-million dollar companies should not touch. And one of them is peaches. They, they ruin good songs. 
I've seen this movie seven or eight times, though. As an apology, I sent... I don't know if I want to look back at that... At that, um... At that Discord tab. Because that knowing that that image is still going to be there... That's terrifying to me. Okay, that's cute little bearded dragons. Why do I want you don't you don't I swear you don't You don't want to see this I swear to God you don't No, I don't have to show it No one on this VOD will see it I refuse to let anyone else get this kind of exposure. I want people to be able to sleep at night. You want to see it? Join the Discord server. He's not on the server. Yeah, I want people to be able to sleep tonight. You want to see it? Go to my Discord server and check it out. I, I, at that point, that's your that's your problem. I'm gonna trust you on this one. Yeah, they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't expose yourself to what I had to, had to expose myself to. Consider me to be your shield. I'm going to start Dino Crisis 2 later on computer. Oh, fun! I tried to play the first game, but I could never get past the button mashing. <laughs> Oh, the pteranodons, huh?
think these fat dinosaurs are monsters. Look what they did to Theres and Source in the first game. I'm aware of what the Theres and Source down a crisis looks like, but that's just the one design. You can't compare that to the fact that 65 made monsters. Not dinosaurs, monsters. Nothing in that movie is a real animal. I will admit, the Theres in the Source of Dino Crisis does not look like the animal it's meant to be. But that offense is not as bad as what 65 did. <laughs> are kind of monsters. That's essentially saying that all the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park are monsters. Because basically the designs for them do come from Jurassic Park. Like, let's be honest, that Velociraptor design is kind of on the nose. kind of monsters it's more so the behavior I don't mind weird dinosaur. Yeah, I don't mind weird dinosaur designs at all either. As long as it's an actual animal and not something they made up. Like the frickin' crocodile thing. Mona, oh, love it. Absolutely love it. I thought it was amazing. After the movie uh, came out, I kind of did my own little, um, my own little look into it. Like, it, it's production. And I'm honestly baffled, like, how many studios went through it. And that it, at some point, it kind of stopped, you know, being filmed and was thought to be you know dead never read the comics not really uh should i yeah yeah i think it's a i personally think it's a good watch also it's one of those movies that like yeah it has like um how do i how do i say this without sounding like a douche um, it has a um, homosexual relationship that doesn't feel like, you know, corporate is just trying to shove it down your throat just so they, that we can say, oh, it's woke, it's woke, it's woke. It actually feels like they genuinely care about the, com the community a little bit. Looking at you, Disney.
Strange World has that problem. I haven't seen Strange World, but given Disney's, like, lack of care for, you know, this sort of thing, it doesn't surprise me. I preferred when gay couples weren't used for corporate stuff. Yeah, like when they just want to be woke just to say they can be. Just to say that they can be. Like, if you want, like, a gay couple in your movie, fine. But don't do it in a way that just shoves it down your, shoves it down the throat of, like, the viewer. Like, if it actually comes naturally, that's awesome. But if you're just going to do it just so you can, just so you can say that, that you're woke, then what's the point, right? Speaking of corporate stuff, not just including corporate, one of the worst corporate things ever done is the Cat in the Hat film. I can't not look at that film without nostalgia glasses on. I have, I have an attachment. I don't like the word woke. It's Kind of bleh. Yeah, neither do I. Like, what is that word even supposed to mean? Like, you're awake to the fact that this is a reality? Like, that's just, that just sounds mean. No, you want to know it's bad, the uh, the Grinch. And I don't mean the one with Jim Carrey. I mean the most recent remake of the movie. That was by Illumination. That was a travesty. recently and a lot of dirty jokes flew over my head. Oh yeah. I did there there are a lot of movies that we remember as children that had some uh questionable material to say the least. I only liked Fred. I don't even remember who Fred is, to be perfectly honest. I just don't care at this point to remember. The reindeer. Ah, right. Okay.
That's there's a pretty funny moment at the end of the subscript view of it. I've already seen it. I just forgotten about it. I wonder how the nostalgia critic would treat 65, knowing him. Hop or the Grinch? Don't make me decide that. They're both equally terrible and deserve to be thrown into the pits of hell. No, I don't. I literally have no obligation telling me to. If you told me I, ha I could only delete one of them, I'd delete that one, and then I'd stab the other one in the back. You had to delete any Godzilla media. Oh, Godzilla's revenge. Every time. Every time someone asked me if there was a Godzilla movie I would get rid of in a heartbeat, which one would it be? It would be Godzilla's revenge. Every time. Every time. It's Godzilla's revenge. Because I fucking hate that movie. To the point where I can't even call it a Godzilla movie. I call it some child's fantasy because that's essentially what it is it's not a movie about godzilla it's about a kid who fantasizes about him and his bastard ugly son uh oh you know it's where speckles or the dinosaur adventure you know the fact that i could sit through speckles and not the dinosaur adventure thing speaks volumes so I'll let you decide which one of those I would you think I would get rid of.
But if I had my way, I'd get I'd kill both of them. I take them out of the backyard, tie them to a pole, and put them out of their misery. Choose dinosaur adventure because he has to. Oh no, I'm not reviewing it. I just have to watch it. There's not going to be a review on it. That wasn't the deal. Do a stream. I mean, no, it's not a review. I'm just watching it. And yeah, I'm gonna make a stream out of it. The only difference is, unlike most watch parties, I'm not gonna put a timestamp on because I don't think, because frankly, I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Rewatching. So it's gonna be a watch party without a timestamp. So. Best of luck trying to find where I am. I'm not going to show copy. I'm not going to show it. I'm actually, I am going to be respectful to my follow, to my followers about it because I am the only one who has to suffer. They don't. I know how they um how they're remaking how I know that they're remaking how Train Dragon and honestly I think it's stupid because the original three movies are already amazing. The remake Kung Fu Panda. Now I don't think they're gonna make a remake of Kung Fu Panda, but I do know that a new one's coming out, and that I'm excited about. Because I remember, I remember watching Kung Fu Panda from like the first time, and I thought it was hilarious. So I'm looking forward to seeing what to do with this next one. DreamWorks has yet to um has yet to disappoint me so far. It's exactly like Disney remaking it. Yeah. And what's more so is that 
DreamWorks isn't the first to remake something that's not even, like, more than a decade old. Because Disney is making a live-action remake of Moana, of all things. Yeah, Moana is getting a remake, apparently. Even though it's probably... Even though it's less than 10 years old. Which I just find baffling. And some people have said it's because, you know, they want to stroke uh, The Rock's big ego. I personally never heard of the Rock having a big ego, but with him being an actor, and especially and a very big one at that, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not saying uh, negative things about him. I mean, I quite enjoyed some of the movies he's been in. I mean, Fritz Jumanji, that was hilarious. Those movies are hilarious. I like Sonic. I think Sonic's good. It just depends on which, um... Oh, you're talking about the game. Oh, yeah, I never played the games. But I remember as a kid, I kind of watched a little bit of Sonic X. Just on and off. It wasn't like um, a regular thing. But, um, I did see the two Sonic movies that came out in recent years. Not, like, because, you know, I'm a fan of Sonic, but, you know, just because to, um, you know, as a, as a movie goer in general. He's making it because he wants the money he lost back. Ah! Okay, that wouldn't make sense because I, I heard that Black Adam didn't do that hot. Well, I hate to break it to him, but a live action remake of Moana isn't gonna change things. You get your money back, yeah, but that's gonna affect his career in a negative light. And also, the movie, like, given the history of live-action remakes with Disney, it's probably going to just suck overall. And people just aren't going to waste their time or money to, to go watch it. The only people I can see that go watch it are people that are just so die-hard fans of Disney that they're just so invested in them that they just can't grow a pair and, and stop giving them their money. That's the worst. The, that's the worst part, and that's probably gonna make a lot of money. Yeah, it's gonna make his money back, but critically and stuff like that, it's gonna suck. Need a good video about it. Yeah, I saw that. Okay.
do you hate the most? Honestly, I don't really subscribe to YouTubers I hate. But lately, the one YouTuber that does get under my skin is Balachi. I hate how much of a smartass he sounds like. Velachi, he's um, he's a dino tuber that that covers like game updates for dinosaur games, and I found his content very insightful. But there are some days when I look at his face because his face is out there, and I don't know why. And I'm I'm sure he's a really nice guy. I just want to punch him in the damn face. Which is funny, because most people don't like Anthomnia these days. Like, I heard one, um... I heard one guy... Um, call just flat out call him a twat. I personally don't have any gripe with Anthomnia. Um, I mean, I've heard some negative things about him, but I personally don't know what he's done or what he said. And. I just live a life where I'm just done with the whole he says, she said nonsense because I grew up with that sort of bullshit to the point where anytime I hear the whole he said, she said that like uh, stick, I'm just at that point turned off by it. Like, I don't care. I don't care if he said or he or she said this. The, at the end of the day, y'all suck. Nikado Avocado is somebody. But it's not really hate, it's mostly that just laughing at that guy. I suppose the only YouTuber I don't care for is Altiori. Like, I used to, you know, really enjoy her content. But, I don't know. After a while, it kind of seemed like she, um... I swear, I don't want to make them seem like villains. They're not. They're people at the end of the day, and people are people. And I don't hate them, I just don't agree with some things that they say. But lately, Altiori, I don't know, it feels like she's become more like a smart aleck. Like, she, like, I, I, the tagline for her channel is, you ask, we answer. And I'm like, you, number one, don't answer anything. You do movies, you do movie reviews nowadays. I don't remember the last time you had a um, movie theory or whatever and every, every time she talks every time she talks she sounds like she knows everything and I don't, 
I don't know, man. It always puts a bad taste in my mouth when I hear someone that thinks they know everything. Like, I just hate know-it-alls. At the end of the day, they're the scourge of the human, of, of our world. I don't know, man. Thought you were going to say Mr. I don't even know who Mr. Beast is, so I can't pass judgment. If I don't know their name, they're not worth my time. The people I hate most are Karens and entitled pe rich people who think yeah me too I don't want to start drama but I really 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 cannot stand swear just keep saying things with no sources yeah I'm I've been hearing that a lot about him too and all honesty he needs to cut the bull crap with this theory videos and actually get back to gaming which is something he he did long before he did these theory videos and was something he was actually good at like, I'm not saying he's bad as a person. Like, I think he's awesome. But, damn, man. They're killing us. Like, I used to really enjoy his content, but nowadays, every time I watch it, every time I watch any of his new theory videos, I can't help but feel a little sick in the stomach. Because I, rem I remember how, you know, he was, you know, before, it ha before he started only doing, like, film theory videos and stuff like that. I remember when he was playing The Isle, Prehistoric Kingdoms, you know, Jurassic World Evolution 2 before he went down the spiral and he was actually really good at it and now oh it's such a shame man although I'm a bit, you could say I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I'm wearing one of his shirts right now. Can't stand entitled people. I think that's just a rule with all people. No one likes an uptight asshole. I think it's more maybe he's too overly positive. Well, would you rather prefer he's overly negative?
No, but I think that's why he makes so many theories. Yeah, well, the well has kind of run dry for him at this point. His theory videos clearly aren't, you know, as far as I know, they aren't doing well. And he kind of needs to nip it in the bud while he still can. Have you tried the Grimace Shake? No. And even if I did, I wouldn't go spitting it out or dropping it on the floor. So, if you're asking me to try it just so I can waste it, it's not happening. I am a firm believer of not letting food go to waste. So every time I see someone make a video about the Grimace Shake just to spill it on the floor, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. We never wasted food at Ford's Garage. Okay, there's someone who I'm familiar with here. Who is this? Because I worked at Ford's Garage back when I was back when I lived in Florida. Ah, oh, Brody! Hey! Sonic has sucked lately also. I tried playing Sonic Frontiers. I honestly haven't played the Sonic games, to be perfectly honest. I just watched the movie. <laughs> um, and after watching the, um, the, set, the first credit of the second one, spoilers, spoilers, I am looking forward to um, the third one with Shadow. That's going to be a fun one. Because I know he's like meant to be like Sonic's big rival. Ground fiber, ground fruit. Okay. Do you like Dominion? Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't really say anything negative about any Jurassic movie to be perfectly honest. I know that a lot of people did not care for Dominion and that's totally fine. I personally like it. It has its flaws. I'm aware of it, but it's one of those movies where, again, I could just shut my brain off and let the magic happen. Is it the best movie? Absolutely not. I think there are better Jurassic movies that are worth my time. But it's a popcorn flick at the end of the day, and that's really why I go to movies anyway, to just eat popcorn and just turn my brain off and not have to do a whole lot of thinking. The weirdest thing I think Sonic has been at its best with the movies and the EXE mods on Friday Funkin' Night. Collect Jurassic keeps deleting people's comments who don't agree with him lately. Yeah, I saw that. And to be perfectly honest, so do I. But here's the difference between he and I. I only delete comments of people who only leave them there just to be dicks. I am 
of the opinion that if you have constructive criticism, if there is something you don't agree with on my channel and you think that your opinion can help me grow as a content creator, I'll hear you out. Like if it if it actually helps me at the end of the day, I will gladly um hear you out and take that constructive criticism. But if you just leave your comment there just to be a a dick, then yeah, I'm going to get delete it because you're not be you're being a troll number 1 and number 2 it's not helping me as a creator. You're just bullying people. So if people want to leave negative comments, fine. That's fine with me. But if it's not going to help me in the long run, if it's not going to make me a better content creator, don't expect it to be on for very long. Because I've had those, like, I remember before I reached 1,000 subscribers, I remember there were dozens, not just one person, but dozens of people, either that or the same person using different accounts, saying that my channel was dead. Because, you know, it's a, I'm a dino tuber, and they thought that, you know, with Jurassic World Dominion being the last uh, movie in the trilogy, that my channel would die, like, as soon as, like, you know, it was over. Um, so yeah, they just kept on, that's all they did, they kept on commenting in my, in my comments, dead channel, dead channel, dead channel. And at one point, two of the fuckers actually came onto my stream and did the same thing where they just said you know flat out that my channel was dead and that it would die as soon as like dominion came out because that would be the end of it and i just told them blank face that you know i don't care what they say i'm gonna keep doing what i want to do not because you want it to happen but because this is what i want to do and you know people love dinosaurs not just because of jurassic there are other reasons why people love them and that's why i'm doing it i'm not doing it for you I'm doing it for me. I mean, yes, I put content out there for people to enjoy, you know, and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, I do it for myself. To show my love for these animals. Like horror, but have you seen the FNAF movie trailer? No, I haven't, and um, I don't plan on it. See, so yeah, if people could tear me down and try... Uh, to make uh, to make me feel like a lesser human because of the content I put out. But hot news, bitches. I don't go down without a fight. And I'm going to keep this channel alive until I've had enough. And as far as I know, that's a long, long, long time away from now. Sorry, man. Don't be sorry. It's the people that don't believe in me that make me stronger. Because it makes me want to prove myself to, to like the world that like I don't care what people say. I I'll come back even stronger from what you say about me. Unlike CJ who can't stand opinions and criticism. Yeah, I that's the other thing. I have my own opinions about certain things, but guess what? I know other people do as well, and I value other people's opinions. It doesn't necessarily mean I agree with certain opinions, but I know that, you know, some people have different opinions than me, and that's fine. As long as they're not being hurtful about it, then it's okay. I've heard chicken nugget before. Yes, I have, and I watch them. They're wholesome. Until they're creepy. Then then it divides then it creates a fine line between adorable and unsettling.
<laughs> Did you hear that? The oh, oh. That's iconic. Okay, let's also get some compies up in this bitch. Shall we? Oh, I didn't realize the same actress as Verasica was playing one of the characters. But now that I know that, I can't unsee it. <laughs> to think that one of those wholesome characters is a succubus in a different series. Jaws 3D sucks. Yes, I agree. But Jaws the Revenge is even worse. She put Oh, she plays as the as the dragon. Well, you know what, given the fact that like um that at one point her character turns black and red and does very questionable things. I don't doubt that. So bad. Jaws of Red is so bad. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing about... It's amazing how one movie could be so terrible. Jaws 2 is enjoyable. It is, yes. Alright, now that we got some dinosaurs, let's update these buildings, shall we? Ooh, listen to that. Do, 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 do. Probably because the Pompeys were just released. Do, 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 do. But Shark Tale is so horrific. I have to, I had to disagree with you on that one. And that's because I watched it as a child. I know, I know. I'm shooting myself in the foot for that. But guess what? I don't care. bad as it got older. I don't know. I don't think I could ever look at that movie in, in a negative light. Because it was like a part of, part of me, I guess? I don't know. Probably my least favorite. I'm going to have to doubt you on that one, too. I personally think that the movies in that series progressively got even better. So, top would be the first movie. And then bottom would actually be the first one. Shark Tale is probably made because of the Nemo trend. I don't know. Nemo came like in the 90s, and I'm pretty sure Shark Tale didn't come until like much later on.
Now you want to talk about a movie so bad it's horrific. It's the Land Before Time series before after the la after the first one. Those movies are so bad that it's, it's amazing. Nemo was in the 2000s, dude. Yeah, but wasn't like, um... Early 2000s? I'm pretty sure... It came out in 2003. When did Shark Tale come out? Pretty sure it came out, like, a few years after that. Either that or I'm just very old. Two thousand, two thousand four, really. Okay, so maybe maybe there was a bit of an agenda there. But you know what? I'm pretty sure DreamWorks and Disney have had a right were pretty much rivals from the start, given the fact that Bugs Life came out, and then literally we have ants. Of course they did. Look at them. They're sweet little murdered babies. Foul. You just won't let that one go, will you?
Son of the Mask. Oh, yeah, that's hor horrible. That's a movie I can look at without nostalgia glasses. And think, yeah, that's a piece of shit movie. What are you doing, little fella? You got an itchy itchy? You got a scritchy itch? Look at them frolic along. Jumpy, 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 jumpy. They're so lucky they're adorable. With the CGI baby. Oh yeah, that 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 ugly little piece of shit. Ryan the Last Dragon was bad. Beautiful animation, but I will admit, very sucky movie. The animation just isn't enough to save it for me. Aquafina is the voice of Blue? The Velociraptor? I can't see that. Unless you mean the Dragon Shizu. I mean, yeah, she's Blue, but that's not her name. That is an interesting concept, like, um, voice actors and actresses, uh, for the Jurassic World dinosaurs, that'd be something. Mediocre The Flash. Don't really care about DC Nation, so I'm not bothered by it. Which is also why I'm not too bothered about the whole, um, whatchamacallit, the anime for, um, the Suicide Squad. You can have all the kinds of media you want, but doesn't mean it's going to be any good to me. 
The only DC Nation sort of thing I've watched is Harley Quinn. Because that's actually funny to me. I don't watch it because I'm a DC Nation fan or a fan of like heroes and villains and stuff like that. I watch it, you know, just because I enjoy it. And I have no uh, pre-existing desires to see it otherwise. I don't care about the enemy. Yeah, I love anime as a whole, but... Sorry, DC Nation. This one's going to probably be a miss for me. Oh yeah, the Godzilla reveal for tomorrow. Look forward to that too. Yeah, that's going to be a fun time for a lot of people. Like a big old piece of bubble gum. Aren't they adorable? been about two hours. I think we could save where we are right now. Okay. So, um, that is where we're going to wrap it up for now. I'm so sorry if you hear my dog bark in the background. I can't help what he does. He's just felt that way. But anyway, if... 
excuse my mother. But anyway, if you enjoyed tonight's stream, uh, tune in tomorrow. Uh, we'll, we'll be back with more. Uh, we'll probably get some Velociraptors in the next one. Uh, but if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe today, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new. Uh, links, uh, all my links are down in the description below. And until next time, this is Tyrannosaurus signing off. Alrighty then, take care now. Bye-bye then.